Welcome to Washington. And we had a good start already this morning. Is this great? You guys were fed. You had some good speakers. This is great. Today I want to talk about tomorrow. Not Tuesday tomorrow. I want to talk about the tomorrow that's coming faster than many of us think. That tomorrow. The future. The future of APTA and the future of how we serve the millions of people that write our services every day. Yes, we can feel good about where APTA is today. We won congressional approval of a five-year bill. We got a permanent commuter tax benefit. That was huge. It was incredible. It was parity. We got a two-year extension of the alternative fuel tax credit, and we got an extension on the installation of PTC safety systems. All of you worked for this, and this was a great big deal. Give yourselves a hand. You accomplished so much this last year. It's tremendous. We also took care of business inside the house. We got APTA's financial house in order, and we're in a good place, both at the foundation and at APTA, and it's something we feel very good about. We're implementing a dynamic new strategic plan that focuses on safety, workforce development, and emerging technologies. And we have you, our engaged and active membership. That's today. But the question we must answer is this. What is public transportation going to look like tomorrow? The future is coming fast. You see this coming. <laughs> it's fast because it's the FAST Act. And that's why we're here, to learn about how we're going to leverage and get the greatest benefits from this reauthorization for our communities. That tomorrow is right here, and it's right now. And it's going to be part of everything we do over the next five years. The decisions that are going to be made in the coming months, they're going to work with regulators, we're going to work with policymakers, we're going to determine how the FAST Act is implemented, how it's interpreted, and how it's enforced. And I pledge to you this morning that we will not only have a seat at the table like we did during the development of the bill, but that we will be there to help define and drive the issues at every table. That's going to be APTA's first priority as we move forward as we work on turning legislation into regulation. As we work with our coalition partners, we'll insist on fair and sensible, effective regulations as we turn these 500 pages of regulation into tangible benefits for every APTA member of every size and of every modality. And now when you make your visits to Capitol Hill, as you heard Pete say this morning, as you heard Valerie say, please be sure to thank the members, and thank their staff. They did a ton of work. They worked with us a lot. They listened to you tremendously. Be sure to thank them. And then as Pete said this morning, follow up by asking them, reminding them, we need long-term sustainable funding. The FAST Act brought a lot of positive changes for us. But what about the other changes that are coming? The changes that we can't control. Every part of our society, every part of our culture, every part of our industry right now is undergoing change. Every organization, every company, change is everywhere right now. And the choice is simple. If we don't lead change, we will be changed. Understanding tomorrow's change starts with understanding our customers and how they will define our future. You guys know this, you see it. They want personalized, customized solutions. They demand choices, and they expect the new products and services that meet their needs. They want ideas that are designed around their needs, their wants, and we have learned around their schedules. Today, people want one unique system that fits who? Me, just them, the me service. And much of that is being driven by demographic shifts that we see in ridership and accelerations and innovation. More than ever before, public transportation is being perceived as my transportation. And to be precise, the future is about shared mobility. It means matching personal preferences to the growing array of transportation options that create unique travel experiences for all of our members out there. What does integrated shared mobility look like? It's familiar to us. It's buses, it's subways, it's trains, it's ferries and planes. It's also high-speed rail, Runaways are waterways, and now it's also incorporating walkways and bikeways. It's about shared ride and seamless online ticketing. 
It's about linking together regional transit networks. And it's about buses that communicate with our smartphone apps and trains that tell us when the next train is coming at our station. It's paperless, it's cashless, and it's wireless. It's as portable as a smartphone app. And for each rider, it's about an individual answer to how do I get from A to B. In this new world of rider-selected solutions, it means things that we can't even imagine today. But one thing is certain, integrated shared mobility must mean us, public transportation, and APTA. We must lead it. We must own this new emerging space. Shared mobility will become even more important as individuals look for more alternatives to automobiles. As they move to urban centers, and as they look for ways to have more control over their lives. What could be more important, more personal, not just to us and to our writers, but to have public transit officials, community leaders, and others be engaged in this dialogue? And yes, with all this change, we, must, we will still be the American Public Transportation Association. And when people think about where they're going with this new shared mobility, we want them to think about us here at APTA. They must depend on us and our providers to provide access and opportunities for us to be their problem solvers. And our strategic plan, the way forward, that was adopted just over a year ago, that's the launch pad for this new world. It's the blueprint for how we grow our communities and bring economic vibrancy to our towns. APTA must be and will be the preeminent association as we move into this new paradigm shift for shared mobility. We must continue to be thought leaders. We must be a catalyst for research and development and a knowledge center and a clearinghouse for new ideas. And a partner of choice for technology companies, auto companies, all kinds of transportation companies. And for every entrepreneur who wants to help us enhance the ridership experience. As more providers of transportation services connect, collaborate, APTA will be part of those new opportunities for you, our members. And, for, and to help you be leaders of integrated shared mobility in each of your communities. To help us explore new approaches, we have recently signed up, and it was just approved by our board this past Saturday. We have new members with Lyft, with Bridge, with Uber, and with Motivate Shared Use Bikes. Expansion is part of the evolution of the future, and tomorrow we're going to be releasing a brand new study on shared mobility. As a follow-up to that research, I plan to propose to the board that APTA convene a first ever cross-disciplinary summit on this new world of shared mobility next year. I want to bring together all the key stakeholders in the public transit sector, in business, technology, government, finance, and transportation to bring us all together. And my goal is to begin a high-level, high-octane dialogue where the best ideas can be shared and where thoughts can be challenged and new opportunities created. And a long-term sustainable funding that's going to be part of that dialogue. We all need to be there, and APTA needs to take the lead. And the summit is going to help define our tomorrow. By making the FAST Act work for all of us here, by following our strategic plan, and by defining and leading by the emerging future of shared mobility, we all in this room, we can help lead that change. I began my remarks by talking about tomorrow. As we embrace this transformative issues that lie ahead of us, we will have many, many great tomorrows to talk about. We know where America's going, and we know it better than anybody else. We have to lead the way when it comes to public transportation. So let's get going, let's have a great conference, and let's move this country forward. Thank you so very much.